I'm the director. Crew, make me a cup of tea. Hi, I'm just going to take you through my um, wood gasification stove because I'm so proud of it and it looks really tatty but it works really well. So uh, the principle is that you've got a secondary burn going on. You put firewood or um, sawdust in and um, so I've got it in pieces here. Here's the outside which is something I've got off a skip. I've drilled these holes here, about 12 of them about 25 mil wide and it's tin that uh, the top comes off which is very handy. So here's the top and I'm, I made this hole with uh, a sort of metal chisel really uh, bit by bit, quarter of an inch by quarter of an inch all the way round then flanged it down so I made it fairly precisely and inside it I fitted this old beer barrel. It's a little beer barrel but it's quite strong. It's stronger than the average say tomato tin. And in this tin here I've drilled a whole lot of holes. This will be for the primary burn as they call it. So there's holes around the bottom, holes around the side and a few in the side here. And I've experimented with different sorts of holes and different numbers of holes and this seems to work really well. You want a lot of air coming in but for the secondary burn, the, the hot air also comes up here, it's heated, and then it forces its way through these little holes. So they're, they're about 25 mil an inch apart, all the way round, and you get a kind of gas jet effect. And then this is fitted in, it's just fitted in by metal at the moment, but I might put in uh, some gun gum to fix it. Okay, then the only other fancy thing about this is that I've put these uh, two inch, what's that, 50 mil bolts through and they will hold a frying pan or something like that so that the, the hot air can come out. Just show you how I make the holes. Um, the only piece of kit you actually need to make these things is a, a drill bit like this, which is a conical metal cutting um, bit. Supposing I wanted to make one like this. I could have it that way up and find another lid or I could make a hole in here then have it this way up and so here's where the holes would be. So so I could stop there for a small hole or I could keep going. You get the idea though, so that's a very clean hole, just right for letting the air in. Okay, so we can put it together now, it's very simple as you can see. And um, like it, so this is a very handy thing because it holds itself on and it's pretty airtight as well. And the more airtight it is the seal the better. And here's what I use for, for burning which is wood shavings, you can use paper or sticks or anything but I happen to have a lot of wood shavings so I like lighting just put that many in light it then put the twigs in afterwards as you do this the bottleneck will be how many dry twigs you've got. So look out for them now. Okay, so you can see uh, now, this is only about 30 seconds later, that uh, there's good flames coming out of here. And if you look down in there, you can see the smoke. And basically wood smoke is nearly all hydrogen, actually. And so you can see now there's almost a gas ring forming around under the rim. There. So see the smoke coming off there, which is actually gas. And so it's burning like a gas ring, so that's why it's called a wood gasification stove. It turns all the, the gas in wood, all the potential in wood, into hydrogen mainly. So that's mainly hydrogen burning. So we can use this in various ways. We can cook on there now. I'll put some more sticks on. You can put bigger sticks on. Or you can keep it at this kind of intensity, which is pretty intense. Or, so if we want a cup of tea for Her Majesty over there, what we do is 
fill up a storm kettle. If you don't know what storm kettles are, this is one, and it's a hollow. It's hollow basically, but it holds water in a jacket here, so you can put water in there. It just so happens that it fits pretty exactly over the flames. I can still feed it if I want. Still feed twigs in. Good. Bit of milk. So soon.